Hey everybody, Nick Livingston here. And uh, Lance Leahy here as well. Let's talk about some of the changes to Diamond Dynasty and MLB The Show 16. Let's get in. First off, one of the most requested features last year and years prior. Hot community topic, we have Play vs. Friends in Diamond Dynasty. Great success. But what are you going to do when you play with these friends? Well, we got a lot of new considerations that you got to think about. we got a lot of new features. Yeah, so what are some of these, uh, what were the goals with our features this year? They wanted to add a little diversity to the roster building. They saw a lot of the same teams. So what we wanted to do was give people reasons to have different looking teams. Yep. Right? We also wanted to increase the usefulness and versatility of these big, beautiful collections that you all were putting together. Right? And we wanted to add more progression. So like longer, more, more things to aim for. Uh, so we partnered with uh, the baseball analytics firm Inside Edge, and they're going to give us daily matchup rating every day during the 2016 MLB schedule. Um, and what this does, it's going to impact the player's attributes every day, assuming that they're playing a real-life game that day. So uh, as we look here at this screen, you can see there's all, there's all sorts of stuff going on here, but we'll stop here and we'll take a look at Eric Hosmer. Inside Edge has given him a five-star matchup rating for the day. And Inside Edge gives a little bit of detail why, right? And this was from a game in last year's postseason uh, during the division series. And because of that game and that specific day, Hosmer gets this rating, right? And as you can see here, it's not just Hosmer. Uh, it's every player in the league that happens to be playing that day. Uh, their matchup ratings go from one to five star, one star being the worst, five star being the best, and everything in between. Uh, but that's just with live series players, right? Live series players are our players who currently play in the MLB. But uh, as many of you know, we had legends last year. And uh, new to this year, hundreds of new players, right? And they're all flashbacks, right? And they're all called flashbacks because we're flashing back to a different time in a player's career. Today, we're talking about rookie flashbacks prime flashbacks and postseason flashbacks. There will be hundreds of these guys. These are just a few that we're showing for you guys. But the interesting thing is because there's hundreds of them, there's gotta be new ways to get stuff, right? So in the show 16, we got a lot of new ways that you guys can acquire cards, XP, stubs, any items really, right? The first one is called missions. So as you play Diamond Dynasty this year, you're gonna trigger different mission discoveries. Missions can be triggered through a number of ways. Maybe it's based on cards that you've collected. Maybe it's based on accumulating stats with a certain player or player type. Maybe just logging in during a certain event. Or maybe you acquire a special card that kicks off a mission. Those are a few different ways that you can get missions and the same criteria might apply to how you complete them. Each mission has a goal and it has a set of awesome rewards. And you, again, maybe you have to go out and get certain stats, maybe you have to collect certain stuff, and maybe doing so even kicks off another mission. Very cool. So it's all intertwined with gameplay stuff, generally speaking here, right? I'm getting stuff or I'm doing stuff. Exactly. So one heavily featured reward you will see in missions are those flashbacks that we just talked about. So in addition to missions, we also have something called captains. So the XP leveling system from years past has been completely repurposed this year. So as you play any mode, you're going to earn XP and tickets, that's new this year, towards one of six captains. Each captain is an MLB superstar, and he's got a dynamic offering of prizes that you can redeem with another new concept, tickets. So as you play the game, you're going to be earning tickets, and you're going to be going to these captain prize stores. They're going to have prize offerings. They're going to be dynamically updated and you're gonna use your tickets to cash them in and redeem these prizes. Okay, and prizes are like what? What, what yeah, can I get? Yeah, you can get cards, you can get equipment, you can get any number, anything that you might expect to get out of a pack, and it might also be available at this store. So you earn these tickets, but what you can buy in the store also has to do with that XP rank. So all the XP you're earning will level up a guy, and that will determine what is, which of these prizes can you purchase with your tickets. If you want to get the Buku tickets, oh, I want Buku big, tickets. you want Buku tickets? Two Buku. Then this is what you got to do. The captain has his own mission. What he wants you to do is play with certain players in Diamond Dynasty. Let's give you an example. Eric Hosmer here. He wants you to play with tall guys. And if you do so, you're going to progress towards this mission. You're going to unlock more and more tickets. It's again, as we alluded to earlier, it's another reason to mix up your lineup. So that's what we got for you now, but please make sure to join us for our stream as we're going to show off these features live on Twitch. That'll be fun. Plus, there's a bunch of stuff we couldn't even talk about that we got to show you guys on stream. Yep, so please bring your questions and uh, stay tuned for all of this and a lot more as we approach our March 29th release date. Make sure to go to theshow.com and pre-order this stuff. Everybody take it easy. Yeah. See you at the stream. Thank you.
ンション。